Hello everyone, today I'm here for Ink and Splatter and here is the Waves stencil and as you can see there's four sides that are different wave style and here is the one I used today and here is the stencil itself and it coordinates with this set and that's the Pawn Life and I did a couple videos on this set and if you want to see that just go back and here is the coordinating die inside there so I don't lose them and also the paper that matches with this set is on the pond and I'll be choosing one of the papers to go with that and here is just the base where I'm going to put my waves and I use the mermaid lagoon and that's the oxide one and I'm just and the only reason I have tape there is because if you look at the stencil, it's a little shorter than my paper. I use the, the biggest uh, rectangle die from Jada Blossom, and that's why. If I would have went a little smaller, it would have been perfect. So here I'm just going to gently put some ink. And as I say to my lady friends, you always want to start when you grab some ink always start on your mat or on the stencil so you don't have that sharp edge of the blue showing there because it's hard to get rid of that now I'm just gonna move it down just a tad and start the closest to the the wave part and if you don't have this magnet the one with the big magnets oh that's a lifesaver when you do your stenciling I just love it here I'm gonna just blend a little bit more blue and move the stencil back on there because I found it was too much white so that's what happened there you know I'm gonna position it again some more it's been a while that it, that I did the videos for the turtles because we had in between some Halloween new stamp set new release so that's why it's been a while for this stent uh, to showcase this stencil here I'm just blending a little bit more blue and I'm gonna do one more wave on the bottom and on the camera you can really tell I went a uh, little sideways but that's okay because I'm gonna have like a a little hill a brown little hill that the turtles are gonna be sitting on so you won't see it but on the on the thing you can see <laughs> but that's okay we always can find a way to fix it right so I'm there I'm just taking the tape off and the only reason, like I said, I just didn't want that blue to be where the sky is. That's why I had that, that tape. So I'm going to take my favorite one, Broken China, and I'm going to do the, the sky with that one. And if you're using brushes like this, sometimes if you let them sit for a bit, the ink kind of dries up and your bristles are a little stiff. So if you just gently just rub it on your mat or something or even on a, a baby wipe even that would help those bristles to get loose again so here I'm just gonna go all around and I'm gonna put a little bit in the middle too not much so it's not like a stark white in the middle so there it is Yeah, my fingers are all full of inks. All kinds of ink. I was doing inking before this too, so. So here I have the tea dye. And that one's not the oxide though. And I'm gonna put just a little bit on my little hill here. And that dye is from the Slimline dye set from Jada Blossom. So I'm gonna go all around And there I have the You Are Totally Awesome stamp set. 
already here I'm showing you my dog got my pop dots you can see the teeth mark and there was even a hair that little bugger that's not good too for a dog to get gotta watch her any little thing on the ground she picks up and I'm gonna line that little hill up with the bottom and here's my little turtle and like I said I do have a video showcasing more the stamp set to see all the little pieces that go with it because I'm using a bunch of them on here so I'm just gonna just put him there just for now and position a few little details just to see where they're gonna go and I'm gonna glue down my little girl turtle And I'm going to put pop dots for the little grass so it stands out a bit. Like that. So yeah, all those, all those little pieces are from that set, the Pawn Life. I'm just looking if that would look okay there and I'm gonna put some liquid glue just stick it down that's the Nouveau the glue that I'm using today is the Nouveau glue it's like a pen I love that one I move it around until I'm happy with it. And so now I'm going to stick the little guy turtle down. We uh, we're just waiting for the new stamps from Ink and Splatter for the Christmas line. It's mostly winter scene too, so it's you can stretch your stamps more so I can't wait to get those and start playing with those they're gonna be so cute so I found another one to put in on that corner just to kind of balance the card out little stone. I'll pop that one too. Just to make a nice little scene with them. And I have some clouds. Those are also from Jada Blossom. And I always have the link to, to my um, blog. So if you're wondering where I got certain stamp set or the stencil, I'll have all the information on my blog. So just look at that. And if you want to, you can also subscribe to this channel and you will get all the new um, ink and splatter updates and all the cute new release. Here I'm just looking at the paper and that stripe one is the one I used on my last card with the, that set. And I'm thinking that one's cool. But then I went with the other one. It's the same way, but it's just sideways the the stripes are not up and down so I'll choose that one love those papers nice and bright so I'm just gonna glue that directly down and put it on my panel and I usually use the 110 pound Nita white solar paper just because it has a nice thickness to it and I'm thinking of popping it or should I do it flat and I decide just to go directly flat on there there's enough layers on this card so there and I'm gonna put a little strip inside to match with the outside that's the leftover from the front 
So it's nice to use those little pieces. That or it goes in a box and you never use them. So that's why I do that. And I'm going to do another little turtle inside. I had her colored, so why not use it? Make it cute inside too. So there is my card. I thought it turned out pretty cute. Pretty cute. And I'm going to bring back the products I used from Ink and Splatter. Here's the stencil, the cute little stamp set, along with the coordinating dies, and the paper that all coordinates all together. It's a fun set. So I hope you liked my card for today, and I will see you soon. Bye!